Hey everybody, I'm Nine First Warning Meteorologist Brandon Spinner. Happy Saturday to you. We had a gorgeous first half of the day. Now we're turning into a little bit more rain out there. We had a few light showers pass through during the early afternoon, but now the main wave of moisture out towards our west with showers and thunderstorms out in the central portions of Indiana heading our way with a cold front coming through as well. As we zoom in on nine first warning live Doppler, you notice a few of these showers out in southeast Indiana, mainly the lighter rain out east. Well, we've got a pocket of drier air in between. As we go through the remainder of your evening, we'll watch these showers come in ahead of the cold front, mainly before midnight tonight, bringing some gusts, some rumbles of thunder, and then those fizzle out into the overnight tonight. A few more of these coming through and by daybreak, we could have a hit or miss shower. A lot of this starts to decay and really starts to dissipate as we move through the early morning hours on Sunday before another round comes in later on into the afternoon with part of another upper level low pressure system. We call that an upper level trough coming in. And what that is going to do is pop up a few more of these scattered showers into the afternoon Sunday and then again overnight into Monday and we'll get another surge of moisture overnight Monday into Tuesday as well with some of that moisture coming in out of the north on a very cold weather pattern here throughout the next few days, at least colder than normal. Uh, not looking like it's going to be substantial amounts of rainfall for much of the tri-state. I'd say maybe a tenth or two for a majority of us as you get a little further north. There's a little bit better chance for a half an inch to an inch of rain. Again, we're not talking about a full washout here, but Monday especially is going to be on the drearier side. And Monday is the first day of May. So far in April, we're about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch below normal on rain. As far as the spring so far, that is a tick above normal, right about an inch above average through this afternoon. Now, the good news is the rain that does come through should help a little bit with the pollen count, which has been pretty high over the last week and a half or so. Sunday, it's in the high category. Monday, it drops into the medium to low because of that rainfall. And this is mainly for oak, mulberry and juniper. Uh, so if those are three allergens that bother you, you'll be OK on Monday, but you may still need those allergy meds on Sunday. Wind is going to be an issue Sunday as well. We're talking gusts out of the west at about 15 to 25 miles per hour, staying strong at times and then dissipating overnight into Monday. But we'll still hold on to some of these gusts as we get through the middle of the week as well. High temperatures the next several days staying below normal. That first day of May is going to be a chilly one. 51 for a high. We're supposed to be right around 71 tonight down to 45. Clouds will stick around scattered showers as well and scattered rain likely on Sunday with maybe a chance at an isolated shower or storm into next week. After Monday, we get past that and we've got a slight chance at sprinkles on Tuesday. From there, we dry out and warm up as we get towards the end of the week. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.